Hi, my name's Reese Aldous, I'm 23 and I live in Clanfield outside of Portsmouth. Immigration is a big issue for me. It probably affects a lot more people out there than it affects me personally. Currently where I'm living, they're building quite a large number of houses, which is good because it creates jobs, you know. We do need more houses. What annoys me so much is the reason they're building so many houses is because of mass immigration. Immigrants from other countries are being favoured over British people. We said we were homeless, we had nowhere to go. She was heavily pregnant and they were, oh no, sorry, there's nothing we can do for you. Whilst sat on the left-hand side of me, there's a Polish couple and they hardly spoke a word of English yet. This lady, she walked off, she comes back 10 minutes later with an application form and she said, this will get you on the housing list. Um, we'll put you in a hostel for a couple of weeks and I suspect you'll be housed by the end of the month. But yet me and Stephanie had to... They so, told me I had to leave my current job. Well, it wasn't for our families. We, we, we would have never been rehoused, you know. So if I stuck at my self-employment self and I was earning £2,000 a month, right, I still would not be able to get on the housing ladder. How do people, like, how families like me and Stephanie, how, how do they expect us to get on the housing ladder? When I started in the building trade, I was 16 years old. I was earning £90 a day if I was lucky as a labourer, which is pretty good, you know. When mass immigration came into the country, you could only get you know, 40, 50 pounds a day because of the large amount of Eastern Europeans coming into the country and undercutting British workers. It made me feel really angry. I, 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 there was a point in my life where I thought, I hate immigrants, you know. Um, I suppose you could have cast me a racist, but back when I was 16, I'm 23 now, so it was a long, long time ago. Take too many pills and up, up. This love game is up, up. One minute you hate them, the next you love them. So baby, please don't go. I just want you to know I don't want to die alone. It's just my dream to become a professional rapper, you need know, to be paid to do that as a career, you know. Um, everyone has a dream and that's my dream, I'm not saying that I, I will achieve that, I would like to do that. I'm taking a bit of time off work at the moment to invest my time into music and make something for myself and give it a really good go. When we first moved here, we would ring up the doctor's surgery, um, you book an appointment, and it's always there the next day. No one would question you, no one would ever ask anything. They've had a mass influx of obviously patients um, joining the surgery. So now when you phone up, you get a receptionist on the phone that's completely unqualified telling you that there's nothing wrong with you that you don't need to go see a doctor. It's, it's, it's frustrating more than anything, you know. Sometimes you just want a bloody doctor's appointment. What's currently happening now over here is that there's a um, development company that are, um, are currently acquiring permission from the uh, local council to build um, houses on here. So obviously as you can see this is a um, massive field, um, nice bit of green belt land that will essentially be um, eaten up by houses. It's just taking you know, all these green spaces away from our grandchildren. We do need houses to be built at a certain rate in this country, but I, I think that maybe the rate is just a bit too much. If we weren't having mass immigration, we wouldn't have to build mass houses, you know, we wouldn't have stretched health services, you know, we wouldn't have stretched police force, you know, trying to get interpreters in to deal with foreign criminals, you know, it, it's just ridiculous.